In this first unit of the course, you're going to be learning about the history of North America before the foundation of the United States. There are four films that I do think have educational value about this time period. The first is Apocalypto. This film takes place in what is now southern Mexico and is interesting for many reasons. One is that all the dialogue is actually in indigenous languages. Now when I saw this movie for the first time in the theater, there weren't even any subtitles at all. So if you can't find a version with subtitles in your language, don't worry about it too much. You can still get pulled into the story. Another reason the movie's interesting is because it takes place just after first contact with European explorers in Southern America. This is important because when the Europeans came to South America, uh, the diseases they brought with them really tore through the population extremely fast, all the way up through Central America and into North America. And in fact, it's quite feasible that the disease spread faster than word of mouth spread, right? So word of mouth about the people that brought the diseases may have spread fast, slower than actually the diseases themselves. So people were getting this disease and had no idea what it might be connected with. Now the core story of the film revolves around this native religion that requires human sacrifices in response to this mysterious disease that's sweeping through. The next film is a little bit tangential to the topic, but it's still very enlightening about the effect of disease on a population. Contagion takes place in modern times, but it showcases the devastating effect of a viral infection that takes the world completely unprepared. As you watch the film, I ask that you keep one thing in mind, that this has happened before, and during a time before modern medicine uh, was around to help. Imagine just the psychological effects this kind of illness would have on a population with no understanding of germs and the general belief that uh, illness like this, some kind of plague, is caused by angry gods. Well, this is what happened in North America because of the first contact with Europeans. Some anthropologists estimate that 90% of the population died in this illness. So if you can imagine trying to put your life back together after 9 out of 10 of your family and friends died, and while you're still grieving, aliens start showing up and start setting up camp in your, in your town, what, what a shock that would be. Now the film also happens to be shockingly realistic in the sense that it could happen again. In a lot of ways, our globalized culture now is uh, more vulnerable than populations were you know, just a couple hundred years ago. Two other great films you should check out, The Last of the Mohicans and The New World. Last of the Mohicans takes place in 1757, just two decades before the American Revolution. At this time, there was a proxy war raging between France and Great Britain, and it was fought mostly through uh, the French and British colonies. It also stars Daniel Day-Lewis, one of the best actors alive, ever. So that right there is reason enough to watch it. Now, The New World, on the other hand, is about the events around the founding of the Jamestown colony in the 1600s. Now, the story of Pocahontas and the Jamestown colony is really a kind of American mythology at this point. Right? Very few people know uh, the full story. They've just you know, seen cartoons and things. Okay? Uh, but this film is actually pretty accurate in how it treats the story. Okay, so to summarize, we had Apocalypto, Contagion, The Last of the Mohicans, and The New World. I would advise you to try to really get a hold of either the New World or Apocalypto in particular. Now, I love all the films I've recommended, though, uh, all for different reasons, so you really can't go wrong.